the way that times are, are kind of changing now, it may be better to try to self-publish and make your own oh. your own your own kind of path rather yeah, than well, trying to go through an established uh, um, magazine or something. Right, right. Well, when you think about it, what do the established methods actually give you nowadays that you can't get from right. self-publishing? Hello, welcome back to Doki Doki Drawing. Today we got Wolf with us. Yay! Hello. I mean, you've been on the channel before. Yep. Yeah, I'm Yazuki Wolf. Haven't been around lately on the internet, but uh, if you want to find out why, go over to my channel. Otherwise, let's just get to business. <laughs> but what we're going to do today on this beautiful Wacom Cintiq Pro 16 inch 4K tablet with pen hmm. and Clip Studio Paint well known to be the greatest piece of software of all time. Definitely my favorite. I, like, it's not like we're even sponsored. I actually just really like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just really like the software. Right. Since I like fighting games and you like RPGs and mm -hmm. fight fantasy stuff, yep. I thought it would be cool if we had a battle scene. So we have like one guy shooting some kind of laser and I'll draw, I'll draw A and could you draw B sun, <laughs> yep. Over here. Whoa! You could you could have a violin in there if you want. <laughs> but we don't need that. Yep. Well, you could use it if you th if you think that's going to be useful. Probably not. A battle scene would be cool. So let's do it. In my mind, I'm thinking someone doing a, a kamehameha. So I'll put my guy over here. I want the the rear shoulder mm. up, the front shoulder down. Should I pose? Haha! <laughs> you could pose if you want. Are you going to do a, a kamehameha? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. See, this is why you need. This is why you need to hire professional, professional models. This is, this is incredible. You've really got a, a very correct posture. I don't think this is the best pose I've ever drawn, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with it. So let's make that a little thinner. Draw with a bit of blue. I'm gonna probably give him sleeves so that I don't have to <laughs> draw the actual muscle cuts. Can you do this with your hands? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. This is luxurious. I've got to train Tony to do this for me. <laughs> I used to do this a lot when I was in school. Oh really? Uh, oh right, no that's right because you went to a manga school so you can actually tell us. So. I think I did a lot of uh, uh, Figma figurines. Oh yeah, are they useful? Yeah, you just uh, get the pose and then, and then take a picture of it. I mean, nowadays you use, people use like 3D software and everything to uh, yeah. get the pose, but I found that a lot of times it takes a while to boot up a 3D software and then like adjust every ligament yeah. like one by one and like mo moving the axes and stuff and yeah. to get the pose you want. Whereas if you just have a figure in your hands, it's pretty quick to just get the right pose and then you, your angle you can actually just find with your phone and then just take a snapshot and there yeah. you go. Let's give this guy a hairstyle. It's gonna be blowing basic. in that direction. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. gonna be blowing in, in this direction. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic. The <laughs> <laughs> it, does look, it looks like I've got I've I've drawn someone in a Sonic suit. Sure. That's not. This wasn't actually my intention. <laughs> what about that? That's cool, isn't it? It's kind of Kingdom yeah, Heartsy yeah. style, since that's that's all the rage today. Yep, yep. And yesterday, and probably for the next like 13 years, people will be talking about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you a fan? Oh uh, yeah, I I enjoyed. I've been looking. For Forward to uh, part three for the last like ten years. So. <laughs> there you it's go. Been a while. There you go. So you, you're in the you're in the thirteen year waiting club. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's draw this dude. I just drew, I drew something like this earlier today oh, for yeah. a shoot. I drew something where the eyebrows are literally coming off the face. Mm -hmm. I, I do it because um, Ryu, Street Fighter, yeah. his, his, his eyebrows do that. It takes a lot of training to be able to have eyebrows that come off your face. Oh yeah, I mean, people spend their entire lives working on this and, and still never really achieving true greatness. Yeah. It's so tempting once you get started to just draw really slowly. When I was studying in school for uh, non-digital art, mm. it always would help to just kind of stay at one. What's the word? If you have a if you have a fairly small piece of paper or something, you can't fit so much detail into it, so you don't. True. You're not tempted. But with digital, you could zoom in yeah. actually, which makes you pay much more attention to the detail than you That's really should. That's so sometimes. true. Plus, this is a 300 DPI canvas at yeah. 4K. Plenty of detail if we wanted to. Right. But really. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Any advice for most uh, artists to try to not get too caught up in the details? Mm. Because I noticed that a lot of my early works, I would spend like 40 hours on one piece and I would have all these details. And even when I first got to work too, I was doing that. And then I would notice that someone else would do maybe a, I don't know, like a 
four hour piece and theirs would look just as good as mine because all the stuff that made mine really special, all the all the hours of work that I put into it, you can only see if you zoom in. Oh no. So when it's printed <laughs> out on a card or something, like no one even notices that the detail's there. Oh, that is tragic. So he's gonna be the first person in the world to do a Kamehameha wearing a coat. Actually, I kind of like it. It's an interesting matchup of different uh, designs, <laughs> I think. Got a little like Dragon Ball-ish side, a little bit of a Street Fighter going on. <laughs> you know, of course, the sign of the Hedgehog Spice. You know, like... <laughs> the way I drew it, the first the first draft, it was gonna be a full-blown furry costume, <laughs> which is fine, which is yeah. fine. Oh no, I'm doing that thing where I forget to just rotate the canvas. Just rotate the canvas! It's not a crime! It's interesting, I didn't know you could uh, ro rotate it with a uh, touch. Just yeah, I mean, rather than having to worry about like yeah. aiming for a button and leaving me... The other thing is I don't like to keep my hand in a fixed position. Yeah. Because that, you may not be moving, but the a fixed position is can create a lot of stress, doesn't it? Uh, uh, since tomorrow is Setsubu and you, you could uh, have the, him attacking a Oni or something. Yeah! I don't know if people know about Setsubun. Well, now is a good time to teach them, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun uh, holiday. It's one of the very few actual things that I partake in in Japan. Oh yeah, you throw beans at people. Um, not at people. <laughs> I mean, you you could technically if there's people walking outside your house. If there's onis, if there's onis walking around your house. Yep. The other thing you have to do is you have to sit facing a, a determined direction. I don't remember exactly oh, which yeah. direction. And you have a maki roll, uh, well, is that the right way to a say it? A big sushi, sushi roll? <laughs> Yeah, a big sushi roll. And that um, you have to eat in one go in silence. <laughs> what? Why, yeah. does, why does it have to be silent? Uh, I don't know. And then after you finish that, now to get rid of the onis, which if people are not aware are like demons in Japanese culture, uh -huh. you uh, have little beans that you then throw out of every um, exit of your house. So like windows, <laughs> doors, whatever, right? Any, anything that's open that leads to the outside. Sounds terrible. And yeah, I imagine- it, it Sounds like such a mess. So you throw that out and you say, demons outside or oni wa soto. <laughs> and then you throw some into your house. Which what? That's, no! that's the story that's a little bit harder to take care of because you'll find a couple weeks later you'll have like crushed pieces of beans in your house or whatever. But like I was already kind of against it to start with, and now I'm like, yeah. uh oh, <laughs> sounds like a lot of work. Right. <laughs> But, but because you do that work, you get the, on, the Oni to go outside and you get the good fortune to come inside. Ah. At least that's the, uh, the thought of it. The father will dress up like a demon and chase around and scare, scare his kids. Now that part, that <laughs> part I can get on board with. Right. <laughs> Oh, the line work's looking pretty good for doing it so quickly. Oh, uh, thanks. I also learned recently that apparently, like, toddlers, if they practice drawing straight lines and, like, circles and stuff, apparently it's supposed to make them, um, smarter. Oh, well, we can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard that, I thought, okay, so you just gotta train them to be manga artists very early on, because that's uh... what manga artists do. Warm up of just drawing straight lines across the page, and then you have your cross hatching and everything, yeah. so... Just good luck to them finding a career afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't super recommend manga, although... Like art, yes, but yeah. manga is not, it's not really like a career path. I mean... You could, it, it, it's it a career. One, it's a career. It's a very tough path. And yeah. I think that the way that times are, are kind of changing now, it may be better to try to self-publish and make your own, oh. your own, your own kind of path rather yeah, than well, trying to go through an established, uh, um, magazine or something. Right, right. Well, when you think about it, what do the established methods actually give you nowadays that you can't get from right. self-publishing. Exactly. Is it is it worth trying to take the gamble mm -hmm. and trying to appeal to them when really all they're going to give you is exposure on the internet, which you already have? Yeah. Well, you can already get yourself. Well, not, not necessarily exposure on the internet. It'd probably be uh, in print, right? In stores. Right, so. right, right. But then I wonder where most manga is still being read. I think in Japan it, it still is primarily physical, mm. but it is slowly changing. But I see people on the trains a lot uh, reading digital comics. Yeah, I see it all the time now. Yeah. I bet you anything, as a result of trying to draw fast, it's going to be the best line work I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it works that way. You it gotta, does. You gotta kind of like uh, loosen your filters. I like that phrase. I think I actually did it in a creative writing course. Um, because they were saying how most time you would think that you shouldn't write when you're tired. Mm. But they said actually sometimes that might be the best time to write because mm. you don't censor yourself as much. Raw, you raw ideas just right. coming out. Now I would think that it may be a good idea to uh, Edit. proofread the next morning, but... <laughs> While I was waiting in the shop to hang out with you today, yep. well, I was looking at some of the manga in the convenience store. I was like, you know what? You don't have to be good at drawing to draw manga. In oh, no, fact, definitely. 
that was like, that's like 100% not the point. Yeah. It's like, you just need to be funny or interesting or go, you know, whatever effect you're trying to make right. with the manga. Unlike America, where you have like a separate artist and a separate writer and like everyone's kind of kind of specialized. Mm. Like you have the inker, the pencilist and everything. In Japan, it's just, it's just the manga artist. And you have, he'll have assistance maybe, but for the most part, it's just the one artist that's like handling the story, the character designs, you know, the actual like inking. The point is that because of that, it's not so much about having the very best story with the very best art with the very best penciler because you have everything specialized. It's more about having a good whole package, right? The, if the story is not that great, but the illustration makes up for it, that could that could save you. Or if the illustration is not as great, but the story is really interesting, that that will definitely uh, be able to uh, to have merit, right? Right, right, right. The movies that I sometimes see that I don't like, I'm yeah. like, it looked amazing and it was really funny at times, mm -hmm. but. I would never watch this movie again. <laughs> right. Why? Th what happened? I can think of a few and it, examples of that. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> well, even with some terrible, awful mm. manga, yep. at least it's unified. Right. <laughs> and consistent. Yep. Yeah, the overall package is what they're they're uh, they're looking at. Mm. Although I will say, even though the art doesn't have to be perfect or doesn't have to be that great, it does have to be competent. There's certain things in Japan that they really are sticklers about. Mm. And this is particularly if you're, if you're applying for a, a magazine. Things like uh, line weight, um, having clean line work, be, having uh, full um, panels. So like not having just a lot of like empty space. Like there are a lot of things that even if you have a really good story, they might just be like, well, this just doesn't look professional. Mm. So, and and that, keep in mind that I'm not talking about your, your actual drawing per se. I'm just talking about your ability to follow the core rules of how they expect you to be able to, of how mm. they expect you as a professional to deliver a product, I guess. Interesting. So it's yeah. like, like it's just a subcategory of art style, mm -hmm. is like a presentation, mm -hmm. how you're presenting yourself. It just has to look legit, I guess, is that a useful yeah. word? Yeah, they want to look professional, I guess. So yeah. They don't want to publish something that looks amateur. Mm. Well, something I've noticed with manga that I personally enjoy yep. is some is I, I would use the word deliberate. Mm -hmm. It looks really deliberate. Yeah, like, I, I feel good, like they really yeah, actually, yeah. This is not an accident. Yep. It may look like garbage, but it's like, I know that that was the intention. Right. <laughs> He's doing this on purpose. Yep. But you know, sometimes you watch a movie and you're like, I'm not sure any of this was on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> and consistency is another good thing. Even if your character isn't the most in-depth, like a uh, really work of art type of character, mm. the character should always look like that character, you know? It's just, oh God, yeah. Consistency. People will know from watching the channel as well, We've been doing some videos about how to draw like the face yep. front on and sideways yep. and make it look like the same person. Right. And I drew a sideways version and it looked nothing like the sideways <laughs> version that Hinoe did. Yep. I was like, ah. Coming from a fine art school, I never really thought to simplify things. It was more like think of reality and then try to copy reality. So I would get like reference for every for various angles and stuff. But then I found for manga, it generally is better to just get really good at your at the basic angles, like your your front face, 45 degree angles, like mm. side, top, and maybe like a, a from below, from a, from above type of thing. Don't worry too much about having to get all the degrees in between there, because the more you complicate things, the more you're gonna have those issues where it doesn't quite look like the same character anymore. Mm, yeah. Well, this is on a separate layer. Feel free to do with that what you will. Alrighty. I'll leave this guy here. Anyway, that's Kansei Desk for me. Yeah. Wolf. Bring on, bring on part B. I hope you enjoyed this video with Wolf. Thank you, Wolf. Thank you. Where can people find you, Wolf? So I have my drawing channel, which is uh, Okami Champloo, and right. then I have a channel that actually teaches you Japanese. It's um, It's been on a little bit of a break, but we're gonna get back to it. It's it's uh, Japan Quest. Also, there's a Japanese Let's Play channel called Yazuki Wolf. And that's all the <laughs> Japanese culture things that you need, all in yep. one, in the links below for this video, so definitely check them out. Bye. Bye-bye.